Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium V, the Demonologist playthrough. Uh, where we last left off, we uh, took over a good portion of our other area. We've been dueling uh, with our friend, the, uh, uh, let's see, uh, the Priest King. Um, and they've been on the bad end of that stick, although they've killed a number of our troops. We had a couple of Infernal Horde summonings that just did wonderful things, as you can see here. Um, so uh, I'm pretty happy. Uh, these Demon Knights and these Locusts are just incredible. So uh, so right now we're looking for our Priest King friend to see if we can find out where he keeps coming from. I'm hoping he's just down here because he keeps bringing up troops from somewhere around this area here. So we'll, we'll take care of him. Um, let's see... Just eight units, huh? We could take eight units. Especially since we have the Kraken and the Ballista. So we just need to get ourselves what? Let's see. These guys have just... Oh, they're all melee. Okay, good. So the only thing we have to worry about is this guy, but he doesn't have anything I'm worried about uh, spell-wise. So, hmm. Let's get ourselves some archers. Archers are always going to be useful, and we're going to leave some behind anyways when we attack yeah that should be more than enough to knock those guys out perfect and that may or may not knock them out as well because they've been using a lot of commanders against us so we'll see what happens here um okay so all right so he's got a lot he's just got buffs that's right so um and the kraken is just going to oh they killed the swordsman killed two swordsmen and there we go okay so they killed the two swordsmen, but we got them. Uh, Spirit Eye. I forget what that one does. I think it's a cursed item. Um, either way, let's go ahead and transfer out those five archers. And then uh, we're going to slow crawl our way back home. You guys. How many ants? Three giant ants. We'll go ahead and kill those. Uh, we'll work our way over to this magic library and see what we can do there. Um, not much else to do, so we'll go ahead and end our turn here. Alright, Battle in the Plains. Did we get any of them? Nope, we just killed them all. Um, I'll show you a little slower, so. Again, those guys do spit acid, so that's pretty nasty, but we confused them all. So, and then they got poisoned. And these guys are just doing their damage. Burning, poison, and fire. Not the ants day, for sure. Uh, we got some good recruits. We don't have the gold to get them, though. Um, 64 gold is not going to cut it. Uh, what we can do, though, is save a little and get the spearmen. They're just a frontline troop, but I think we'll wait instead um, because I'm, I'm going to get more of these recruits for sure now. So we'll go ahead and chill here, though, with uh, Lamo. Let's see, we got Archer here. Um... All right. All right, we're going to put archers here just because these guys will probably come over and try and mess with us if we don't. All right, so. Okay, what do we got here? 22 units, a lot of halberdiers. They do a lot of damage, um, but we could possibly convert them. They only have three crossbows. And it'll be nice to have a magic library as well, so. Oh, yeah, Lano. Let's go ahead and transfer out these two. They can hold against the animals. And uh, we're going to go and we're going to take these over again, so. All right, ten swordsmen. Hydraskin armor. Ooh, I want the hydraskin armor. And I don't have the gold for it. Darn it. Hydraskin armor offers regeneration, so it would be useful for our troops, but... That's the way it goes, stupid peoples. All right. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good, so we'll go ahead and crush that. And you guys can take those and come back. Really nothing much we can do there. We should probably go over here and retake those as well. Um, but we'll probably get them some more troops first. So we should uh, do pretty good. I don't know why they don't cast their confusion, the words of sacrilege, um, all the time. They should be doing that. Maybe because, oh, maybe because of the speed. 
they can't cast it in combat? It's range weapons cannot be used when engaged in melee. Ah, okay. Okay. So that's why. So we lost a demonic locust, but we got it. Amulet of bear control. Okay, definitely need that. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Because ambush bear is amazing. Uh, we'll give that to... Uh, the captain for now. We'll figure that out later. Um, okay, perfect. Um, probably take a detour. No, I don't need... No, those iron mines are pretty nice. Maybe we'll take that detour. Uh, let's see. Yep, stupid giant centipedes are taking my stuff, but... Alright, there we go. That's the... Uh, so they're coming from up here. So they are... Oh, that's a lot of slaves. Uh, slaves are just trash. They've got three hit points, no armor, and they do one to three damage base. Yeah. Um, so that's not a problem. A lot of swordsmen. That's problematic. This guy here has uh, War and Sun level two uh, magic, which can be uh, powerful. Um, otherwise, they're just led by a tribal king. So just a lot of archers and things like that. Hmm. I mean, this army should be able to take care of them pretty easily. However, let's see. Use special power. It's uh, a pretty good chance we can take an Infernal Horde here. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. So that slows us down, unfortunately. Because Bloodsworn are slow. However, they have two armor. They have this large shield, which blocks zero to two damage uh, or zero to four against range. And they have regeneration, so they're going to just heal up. Um, they're actually behind our troops there, which kind of makes sense because they're all fast. Um, so yeah, we have more than enough to take these guys out now. And hopefully this will be the last we hear of them, so. All right, what do you got? Um, you need frontline troops, so grab swordsmen. The spearmen are a good value, but uh, I just want things with a little more punch. And that should be sufficient uh, for coming up and retaking these here. Maybe we'll do some exploring as well. So, all right, looks like we won. A uh, little spoiler there, but let's go ahead and view this battle. So, it's got incinerate. That's not a great spell for us, but... Oh yeah, I forgot. Incinerate doesn't work on this entire front rank uh, of troops because they're all fireproof. So he's not going to be incinerating. Word of power, paralyzation can be problematic. Uh, when you're paralyzed, you uh, uh, you end up, what is it? Um, you end up taking extra damage, two extra damage for every attack that lands on you uh, when you're paralyzed or immobilized or any number of things. So. Now the unfortunate thing with the front rank of slaves is we're wasting our best attack with the demonic knights. Um, the uh, lance charge was wasted on the, the weaker guys, but yeah, otherwise we're doing pretty good. So, so we're just going to speed things along here. starting to incinerate the guys that aren't immune to the fire. But we're going to get them locked into combat here. And now all he can do attack is attack. Now he attacks pretty well. I mean, these are 1 to 17 each, but... Uh, as you can see, he's going to die. He's probably going to kill this guy. Nope. This guy will probably die to something else instead. Yep. So we're definitely taking some casualties here. Um, so we ended up losing... Oh, we got a Cloudfolk Archer. Where the hell was that? Or maybe that's just a mistake. There's been some errors with the battle report, so I'll, I'll take a look and see if I actually got a Cloudfolk Archer somehow. Uh, but we lost four of our Demon Knights and two of our Demonic Locusts, so that's rough. But um, overall, our army succeeded, losing only eight casualties to uh, 150 enemies. They did have a Cloudfolk Archer. Weird. Yeah, there he is. Cloudfolk Archer. 
nothing crazy. The Phantasmal Bow uh, can be resisted with magic uh, resistance, but um, that's hard for them to do. It just does 1 to 3, but it's magic damage, which is important for Ethereal. Um, so you can hit Ethereal troops with their bows so they can hurt each other. But All right, what do you got? 27 units. Uh, all melee? I think all melee. None of these guys have slings. Uh, your dark magic level 2 is kind of concerning, but I don't think that'll be too much of a problem for us. So we'll go ahead and tackle that. Oh uh, yeah, we can kill a peddler. He's only got seven troops left, so we'll do that. That'll get us some resources. And we get to view ourselves another battle. Ring of the Dead! Oh, I want that. See, we converted one of his troops over. So now he can't do his Shade Assassins, cast Terror, or Fear as well. So, um, so yeah, overall, uh, yeah, this is in the books. Unless that guy moves away. Uh, I got still confused. Uh, all right, so Captain Crossbowman, but we're getting that Ring of the Dead instead. Um, and of course, snakes. So, all right, how can we do this? Ring of the Dead, we'll guess we'll give it to uh, Kraken for now. Um, so, Ring of the Dead uh, is basically something that summons a long dead, so you get a skeleton each round which is quite powerful, uh, especially in longer fights, because um, that just starts to add up pretty quickly, so. All right, let's see, we we'll go here. You got Ambush Bear, so Ambush Bear will go to the front, and that is, I want to take this for the sacrifice, but I also want to kill him so he doesn't take my stuff anymore. Um, all right, so we got everything under control. Uh, do I want to take these? No, I got to go find our friend because it still didn't kill him. We keep killing his stuff, but uh, he's uh, soldiering on for sure. So, all right, so we got a battle in the tundra. Ambush bear got murdered, but uh, he'll come back. Um, so stat-wise, we did lose a spearman still, uh, but we got thirty gold coin and ten iron for taking out a peddler. And then if you take out a merchant, uh, those are worth a bit more. Uh, I believe 100 gold coin and 30 iron or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, all right, we're just going to take a peek. We'll go ahead and grab this. Swamp things are um, 17 hit points, pierce and blunt resistance, so slashing works fine against them. But they do regenerate, so they can be problematic. Um, and if they attack us, we'll definitely uh, have some trouble with them. But... Uh, this right here is an iron bog, so it gives us iron income, <clears throat> so it's good to have. Um, and then uh, we'll swing back and grab this afterwards. I just wanted to finish exploring while it was thawed. All right, you guys are chill. Winged monkeys. All right, they just keep pumping out units. All right, so this thing has uh, two different levels of magic. It flies, uh, has 31 hit points, but um, our locusts will destroy it. Although our locusts are starting to uh, take some serious damage here. So as you can see, a couple of them have battle fright, uh, which causes them to move back in the thing as they're scared to be on the front lines anymore. So a little weird, but mm, you know that's what you get sometimes. All right, so let's take advantage of the scouting, and we'll do that. Uh, the graveyard um, doesn't help us at all doesn't help them either but it keeps the uh, things from spawning so uh, slings not the nothing crazy for defenses here uh, the boats don't do anything so okay so over here we're gonna go ahead and just move back and they'll probably just take it back from us but hey we tried all right stoneborn amulet that uh, gives you blunt uh, weapon resistance black sorceress though okay so we got Venomous Death that does 1 to 60, but what they cast was uh, Stormwind, burst 25, 1 to 4 damage. So um, didn't really hit, oh, it hit a bunch of people actually, but I don't think it'll matter here. So we're now in melee with him. We fly. So we did lose somebody to poison, unfortunately, um, our Demonic Locust. Um, but yeah. Pretty easy fight there. Um, yeah, we still got more than enough to take out this here. Uh, they got swordsmen galore, but that doesn't matter. 
Uh, the demonic locusts will hit the walls and kill all the archers. And then the uh, melee troops will head out. Oh, okay, well, we got a few options here. That's a lot of plume serpents. My lord. Ugh. The serpents I'm not worried about. Um, they have a uh, Tlahupuchi, Tlahu uh, which is an assassin. That's rough because it can hit one of my... Uh, or it can hit my commanders, which is not good. Uh, it'll do 1 to 10 damage on a life drain. Um, so that could just straight up kill my guys. So we got to be careful of that. Uh, we definitely don't want to fight this in a city. Because these guys... Oh no, they're just all spearmen. They have just the three crossbows. So they're going to come out to get us. But these guys have 18 hit points. They have a bite and a claw. Uh, these guys have a strong venomous bite. Um, so as you can see, our locusts are not immune to poison. Even though they cause poison. Um, just like these guys aren't immune, I guess. Um, and they have an armor and 77 hit points. So... Yeah, we're going to take this instead because then we can reinforce a variety of different ways. Um, that shouldn't cause us any problems, especially with the Blood Sworn. Um, okay, well. And uh, with luck, maybe they'll move out. But uh, yeah, they've got a city, and I definitely want the city. Um, so we'll, uh, yeah, see. Little bastard. I figured he would, but, you know, I had to try all right, cool. He did move out. Battle in a port. There you go. They opened up the gates because they didn't have uh, a lot going on otherwise. Okay, so we lost the demonic locust as expected, but a gem of flying. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's going to be a problem if it gets up there. However, I could just take this right now, and I think we'll definitely do that. Uh, let's let's reinforce this a little bit with archers. Uh, we are losing them. And uh, you don't see her because she's uh, a hidden unit. Um, so just a heads up, the assassin is still there. Uh, and that 1 to 10 damage hits the back. I think it hits the back rank. I'll have to check that, actually. I didn't actually look to make sure. Um, and we've got 13 hit points, so we could survive unless they roll lucky. Our cultist, though, probably wouldn't. Um, what do we have here? Ring of Evasion. That could be useful. Um, yeah, all our magic items. Thorn Staff does poison as well if it hits okay so it's just a melee weapon okay we can give that to one of our blood sworn he hits for less but he does poison instead so I don't want to give it to our knights because they that broadsword's pretty powerful uh, the warriors charm is what keep keeps him at the high health <sighs> I don't want to kill all my units so yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, we'll take this instead, and then we'll crash in. Hopefully the catapult will hit my regenerating units. That would be nice. Take that and finish over here. Strange portal. Okay. These guardians are rough because they have 42 hit points, 3 armor, pierce, and slash resistance. So that's all my weapons, and they uh, project lightning um, randomly. So they just will sit there. They're sturdy. As you can see, there's six of them. Uh, we're not taking that portal anytime soon, but that portal can be a gateway to a number of different things. Oh, they got more heroes. How many heroes are they going to get? Oh, man, that was some effect. Oh, we got a catapult. Okay. Uh, yeah, I killed a Bloodsworn, a Demon Knight, a Swordsman, and an Archer, so that was pretty effective. Alright, what do you got? 34 basic troops. Um, let's see. At this point... Ooh, 20 pike in the air. That could be useful. Not really, though. We got so much melee right now. Um, I think... Ooh, do we want crossbows instead? No, they don't have high armor. And these guys don't have any armor at all. 
They're going to be able to crawl the walls, so the walls won't be that much... Uh, strikes anywhere. Okay, it doesn't strike the back rank. Uh, so that's not nearly as useful, but it can hit something, so... Uh, serpent magic and sky magic are going to be problematic. And then you've got bloody mother magic. Um, and blood magic. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and drop some uh, archers. That'll just be more useful. I'll make sure we transfer all. Let's leave the catapult. Well, the catapult at this point doesn't slow us down any more than the troops. Um... Yeah, that should work for us, I think. They're not going to want to attack that. They'll probably take the port, though. And there's no use putting archers there wasting gold because this is just going to rush up and kill them. Because uh, they all have wall climbing, so. Hmm. So we're going to chill there for a bit. Just making sure that there's nothing else there. Success is found. We got to come back here and recapture all this stuff from the animals because uh, those guys are little bastards. Yeah, so you took my port. Uh, scout, cult, uh, just everything. Hedge wizard, crossbows, spearmen. So, um, crossbow. Got to take the ten crossbow. That's a nice discount. Um, and now we've got a pretty filled out line. We're getting the sacrifices right now, so we're going to chill until we can do another summon. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait there. Feels like a waste because you're not moving, but uh, he left his assassin there, huh? Captain, 10 spearmen, 10 crossbow. So, again, we could do... Um, don't really need that many spearmen at this point. That's just... Oh, there's two of them now. So he did some sort of summons. That sucks. Um, this terrain would hinder them. The problem is that all that poison. That's just a lot of poison. And they've got a lot of hit points. So we'd have to chew through it. Um, we can poison them as well. But they're going to eat us um, pretty well. Um, although the confusion. What's their magic resistance? Five. Not bad. All right, we're going to play it safe. I know Demonologist is playing it safe, but uh, we're going to wait for our next summons, essentially, and I'm going to just do it at the, the full value. Assassin could be very useful here. Yeah, let's get an Assassin. Why not? Domar. So my guy does attack the back rank, uh, does 1 to 3 damage, and then 1 to 15 poison damage. Uh, so we could hit this guy and kill him off. That would be great. Uh, we can even assassinate the assassins, uh, possibly, too. So, um, And it doesn't matter where you're actually at. So technically, they're not in the back rank, but they're a back ranker. Uh, so those are the ones that get targeted by this uh, assassin. As you can see, range, rear. Targets rear enemy ranks. So um, I believe that's how that works. So, All right. One more turn, and then uh, we'll do the summons, and we'll go in. Oh, he took the assassins with him. Solar Lance. Okay. Well, all right. Let's go ahead and use our special powers. All right. Those knights should be pretty useful. Um, not as many hit points. The Fiery Breath, though, is going to be huge. Uh, not my favorite. I really wish I got Hellhounds, but that's all right. We should be able to take out this Serpent crew. Three Assassins now. Uh, well, we're going to roll the dice here. All right. Let's uh, be smart, though. Let's snag that, and then we should have enough movement to get everybody in. Let's see. Todd Bog. All troops. We could do a recruit here. Can't get the solar lance anyways. Um, get some archers. Nothing else we're going to need them. Uh, no use bringing the catapult because it won't work against that. We'll use that against the crossbow when we get a chance. 
All right, here we go. Demons versus uh, the Priest King. Hopefully I have not underestimated. I'll take two of those, because all we have are animals left in this area. And we'll take this back to uh, handle that. All right. How? Oh, we went through the portal. Okay, looks like we won. Ambush bear. All right. Battle in the plains. So we did hit him, but we unfortunately didn't hit him for enough. Uh, three and four. So we took he took seven damage out of his 11 hit points. Oh, well. Uh, so he's got blood burst, one to 20 damage. Um, so that's rough. That's going to hurt us. Uh, word of power is that paralyzation again. So one to 20 damage and a burst of five. So that's going to be our, our pain point. Uh, Thunderhead's going to be pretty powerful there because not only does it do that, it does one damage to all and it ignores armor. Hydra's Blessing gives regeneration. That's not good for us either. So, well, let's see what happens. Oh, we got one. So that poison there hurts. And it looks like it got my Demonologist. No, it did not. Okay. So, oh yeah, what do they got? Leech, that's a, a nice spell to have. Leech and Blood Boil. Um, Blood Boil, not as useful for them. But... And now we're going to crush them. So we took some damage for sure, but um, we got a plume serpent, so that's a nice thing. Uh, we lost three demon knights, three blood sworn, and three demonic locusts. Um, archers and swordsmen are easily replaceable, so that's not a problem. So that's well, not a bad trade, actually. The plume serpent's nice. Uh, we killed all of these guys, of course. Um, they do have another... Uh, the witch. Oh, she just came back, so that's all it is. Okay. So what do we got here? We still got ourselves a pretty solid army, so no complaints there. Uh, transfer all. Uh, you're probably going to die in this next fight. She can cast some powerful ice spells. Um, that could be problematic. I think we'll get to her pretty quick, though. Uh, the crossbows uh, are a new thing, I think, so we'll just take care of that. All right, let's go no, we can't get any recruits anyways. Uh, yeah, we'll just take them out. And that should hopefully be the last uh, that we see of them. All right. Oh, no, because we got this massive army that is going to run rampant over our stuff here. So, uh, so we need to go and find their territories. That sucks. All right, Lano. Um... I'm just going to take that stuff. Okay, good. Yeah, you just you go around. Ten crossbowmen. Okay, we'll definitely take advantage of that. And we murdered their caster. That was the thing. Okay, so let me actually go. We're going to view it again. I wanted to see what she had. Falling frost would have been bad. Burst 25, 1 to 6 damage. Ice shards, um, pretty powerful attack too. So, yep. That, uh, good job, assassin. And easy. We did lose a locust though, so. Uh, but we got a bottled spirit. Oh, very nice. Okay, so we need the crossbows. We'll grab them here. Probably should have done them up north, but uh, what are you gonna do? We're gonna attack here. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing. Well, first, let's give you the bottled spirit, right? It just summons a dispossessed spirit. We don't really worry about the Hades immunity. So do that. Um, Ring of Evasion probably should go to one of my... I would give it to the Plume Serpent. If we can get him up to snuff, that'll be really nice. Um, Alright, so Domar, take the farm. Hmm. Alright, let's just clean up our backyard as much as I want to. 
So you can just go there. You take all and crash into here. Okay. Let me check something here. How many players are left? So if we knock them out, there's still two other AIs roaming around out there somewhere. So Okay. I was like, what's going on there? What do you have on you? You have Amulet of Anti-Magic. Ooh, Magic Resistance 3. I don't think I've ever seen anything that powerful for Magic Resistance. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do anything about this army, so... That is equivalent to a doom stack at this point for us, so we're just going to have to uh, hopefully avoid it. But as you can see, he's going right for that tower there, so that's unfortunate. Uh, so battle in a port. We're just going to hit stats because our crossbow and locust um, killed it. Catapult missed everything. That's going to happen. Um, some decent recruits there. Again, with that many plumed serpents. Oh, gosh. Though, wow, that's so many great macaws. Okay, yep, absolutely no reason to hold on to that tower at this point. Um, so the reason why these are all beat up is because they uh, had to attack, attack those statues that were guarding the portal. Uh, so they took a lot of lightning damage and stuff, so a lot of these guys... Feeble minded and battle frightened. As you can see, 118 hit points, one armor, and two really big attacks. Uh, they're also blessed. I forgot to mention. With blessings, it looks like they've got morale, hit points, and strength, so they're getting stronger. Uh, these guys are not blessed, but they are pretty experienced. Um, and then, yeah, lots of casting, lots of siege. What are you running with? Trader's Medallion, so you're getting gold in trade. Tome of Arcane Mastery, that's a nice one. And Golden Plate Mail, Armor 4. That's really nice. 24 hit points. Your level 3 caster. Yeah, everything about this screams Doom stack. So yeah, that guard tower is pretty much toast. So our job here then is to avoid him. Retake our places as he leaves them with defenders and uh, move out from there. So... Alright, so we're going to transfer out the catapult. Uh, we're not going to be able to make it anyways. I don't know why I'm thinking about transferring out the catapult. Uh, we need to recruit. Castle would be a better place to defend, but we're not going to be able to get enough to counteract all of this siege. So these guys will drop boulders, 1 to 41 damage every 3 rounds. So they got, since there's 15 rounds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30 shots to kill anything that they see so yeah we're not going to build a, a unit up there for now uh, let's continue to add to here 10 crossbowmen yeah don't mind if i do all right so we'll take those we'll leave a couple archers just to defend and uh yeah we're gonna move down here our assassin's gonna join us Um, gonna chill for now. Um, we're gonna just get them into our group though, just so that we're ready to take them away if we need to. And uh, we'll end our turn here. And you get to see all the siege. So, yeah, they never got a or stood a chance, which is fine. That's I'm glad we did take some of our guys away. So. All right, well, they've got a tower up there, so my plan to take all of their um, citadels is not going to quite work as well until uh, they get away from there. Unfortunately, there's a castle nearby, so they'll probably go for that next. But, uh, you know, we got my army rampaging in their territory. They got their army rampaging in mine, all because of that stupid portal. Um, so, well, we'll figure it out. As always, if you, uh, I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm glad to see you guys are enjoying this series, and uh, I hope you guys will continue to watch it. Um, and, you know, feel free to drop me a comment if there's anything you'd like to see uh, going forward, uh, especially for my next playthrough, because once I complete this, well, obviously I'll jump right into the next one. Um, so, yeah, uh, with that, I will bid you guys farewell.